ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் குட் மார்னிங் டூ அண்ட் ஆல் ஐம் டாக்டர் தாரிக் டிப்ளமோட பயோ டெக்னாலஜி இஸ்லாமிக் காலேஜ் வாணிபாடி ஸோ நவ் வி டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் பயோ டெக்னாலஜி யூனிட் ஃபைவ் த டாபிக் இஸ் சிங்கிள் செல் ப்ரோட்டீன் எஸ்சிபி What do you mean by single cell protein? The single cell protein it refers to protein derived from cells of microorganisms such as yeast, fungi, algae and bacteria which are grown on various carbon sources from synthesis it derived cells of microorganisms or the whole organisms is harvested and consumed actually what is the single cell protein with the examples is it refers to the crude and refined or edible protein extracted from pure microbiology cultures or dried cell biomass they can be used as a protein supplement for both the humans and animals in these microorganisms like utilizing the algae fungi yeast and bacteria they have very high protein contained in their biomass what is protein in the complex organic macromolecules that contain carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and some usually sulfur and are composed of one or more chain of amino acids next is the proteins are fundamental components of all living cells and include many substances such as enzymes hormones and the antibodies that are necessary for the proper functioning in the organisms then they are essential in the diet of animals for the growth and repair of tissue and can be obtained from food such as meat fish egg milk and legumes these are all the protein requirements daily requirements of essential amino acid for the human data the data is retrieved from fao the food authority organizations the essential amino acids like phenylalanine methionine leucine valine lysine isoleucine threonine tryptophan etc these are the minimum and the recommendation side actually the introduction of scp the scp that means protein is most important in this topic in 1996 new sources of mainly yeast fungi bacteria and algae also a single cell protein is coined by the protein production from biomass originating from the different microbial sources the microbial biomass has been considered an alternative and conventional sources sources for food and feed 
large amount of production process scp is interesting in the future that means the wide variety of methodologies raw materials and microorganisms that can be used for this purpose high efficiency and substitute conversion high productivity derived from the fast growth rate of microorganisms independence of seasonal factors these are all the introduction of the scp the actually the scp is a single cell protein the conception they indicate one the microbe source of enzymes and the food industry baking brewing distilling wine making cheese making etc and microbes as producers of nutritive substances like a a amino acids nucleotides vitamins organic acids sugars and uh, aromatizers and the third one is direct utilization of microbial biomass of food stuff in since 2500 bc the yeast was most used in the bread and beverages in 1781 the process of preparing highly concentrated from the yeast waste establishment food from oil in 1960 the british petroleum developed what they called proteins from oil process it initial research work was done the alfred campagnet the term scp was coined by 1966 actually the advantages of scp in the protein sources it has high protein and sometimes in low fat concentrations it is good sources for vitamins particularly beta complex and also the sources of yeast it can be produced throughout the year waste materials are used in substrate substrate for the production of these proteins it reduces the environmental pollution and help in recycling of materials actually the single cell protein organisms grow faster and produce the large quantities of cell scp from relatively small area of land and the time these have proteins which required amino acids that can be easily selected by genetic engineer during the production of scp biomass some organism produce useful products like organic acids and fat it can be generally genetically controlled it causes less pollution algal cultures can be done in the space in the normally the factors that impact the usefulness of unicellular biomass all single cell organisms of interest from the industrial points of view in non digestible environment which makes protein similar this difficult the content of nucleic acids in the unicellular biomass in higher than the permosome level it may cause disorders of purine metabolism in the human human body the myomas of some unicellular microorganisms have an unpleasant color algae test and a small which make them unsuitable even the animal consumption food grade production of single cell protein 
is more expensive than other sources of proteins as it depends on the raw material single cell protein of human consumption 10 to 12 times more than expensive than a single cell protein animal feed it can be digestion of microbial cells is rather slow and frequently associated with indigestion of and the allergy reaction scp production protocol the microbial screening in the first step second one is suitable raw materials third one is process engineering that means technical condition cultivation of the staining methods known the stages apprentice technology that means adopt the technical performance of the process in order to make the production economic factors energy cost safety demand environment protection and the legal and control aspects it can be possible in subset of for scp they can be subdivided into three categories high energy different on waste and renewable plant sources like sugar starch and cellulose the interest in methanol and ethanol as yes raw material for scp the complete water solubility in this alcohol the possibility of washing cells completely from the residential methanol and ethanol number 3 high purity of the substrate 99.5% the relative cheapness of substrate the restricted utilization of the microorganisms easy and simple storage of maintenance low equipment requirements of oxygen during the fermentation and the lower requirements of the energy during the cooling and compared the microbial cultivation actually the average composition of the main group of microorganisms in the dry conditions the pictures shows that microorganism like fungi algae yeast and bacteria first of all proteins contained in the above four my organisms in this scale of 30 to 45 percent of fungi in the protein percent of the protein algae it can be also more compared to than fungi 40 to 60 percent of the proteins present in the algae yeast also 45 to 50 percent bacteria can also 50 to 65 percent of the protein present in the microorganisms fat component the fungi is 2 to 8 algae is 7 to 20 yeast are 2 to 6 and bacteria is 1.5 to 3.0 ash value ash also the curing lot of information in the method of ads ash value and in nucleic acid is also the the concentration of the fungi algae yeast bacteria these are the dry weight of this percentage actually the parameters are to be considered during the selection of microorganisms as protein sources safety is most important usefulness is very important easy of processing and the rate of growth and cultivation conditions these are all the parameters some of the parameters are yeast and fungi yeast and the fungi
filamentous fungi is a used for single cell protein fusarium ketomium fusilomyces cellulose starch supply sulfide liquor respectively it can be more important in the yeast and the fungal growth scp is produced from yeast candida and the saccharomyces cerevisiae the yeast are higher in lysine content and finally strict asft conditions are required when using yeast as a single cell protein production some of the disadvantages are there and second one is bacteria they have more than 80% of protein but are poor in sulfur containing the amino acids brevi bacterium uses hydrocarbons while methylophallus methylotropes used in methanol as a substrate some of the disadvantages in this lab it has highly nucleic acid content recovering the cells and bit probar problematic endotoxin production should be carefully tested the marketly available in the scp algae the chlorella sanidesmus and the spirulina is a single cell protein these have about 60% protein with good amino acid consumption but less in sulfur containing the amino acids the chlorella and the spirulina are used for commercial scale production in taiwan taiwan japan israel mexico and usa it is spray dried and sold as piles and powders some of the disadvantages the chlorophyll is not advised for human consumption in the zero sorry that is 1 to 2 g of dry weight and liter substance there is lot of link and contaminations during the health this drugs will be produced in the un and another one of the product of zinc the nutritional value of alkan spirulina nutritional value the 14 times higher than the cow milk the excellent sources of quick supply of glucose to the blood it contain 13 types of vitamins and the richest vegetative sources of 3 b12 in the world and excellent source of minerals it contain the four types of neutral nutritional value natural pigments including the beta carotene it contains all the essential amino acids the complete in nutritional value that it is used as food for astronauts the stable source that microorganisms called algae yeast etc the chlorella semidesmus and spirulina and the sa 
substrate substrate is called carbon dioxide plus sunlight carbon dioxide plus sunlight carbon dioxide plus sunlight they use as the algae feed and feed is more important used commercial yes japan and taiwan yes mexico uk simba process is the vienna process kale process russia etc the slide shows that will continue the next class it can be possible and more useful in the particularly in single cell protein இன்னொரு தடவை நான் வந்து ப்ரீஃபாக சொல்கிறேன் சிங்கிள் செல் ப்ரோட்டீன் பற்றி நம்ம பார்க்கும்போது லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸில் வந்து மாஸ் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் அப்படின்னு பார்ப்போம் நேச்சுரல் பயோ ஃபர்டிலைசர் பார்ப்போம் இங்கே வந்து எஸ்சிபி பற்றி பார்க்க போகிறோம் அதில் என்னென்னலாம் சிங்கிள் செல் ப்ரோட்டீன் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஆல்கையில் இருக்குது ஈஸ்டில் இருக்குது ஃபங்கையில் இருக்குது பாக்டீரியாலேயே இருக்குது it can be grown in more number of microorganisms and the vahaila algae la vandu chlorella and the spirulina appo yeast la vandu saccharomyces irukku nariya irukku adhe mari bacteria la irukku so adalla vandu irukkadanaala namakku theviyana nutrition vandu konjam konjama paaila karandu ஆல்கையில் இருக்குது ஃபங்கையில் இருக்குது அண்ட் பாக்டீரியாலேயும் இருக்குது ஓகே ஸோ இதை நல்ல ட்ரை பண்ணி பவுடர் பண்ணி நம்ம என்ன செய்யலாம் மார்க்கெட்டில் ஈஸியாக அவைலபிள் பண்ணி சேல்ஸ் பண்ணலாம் ஓகே இந்த டேபிள் வந்து நமக்கு நிறைய வேல்யூபிள் ப்ரோட்டீன் வந்து கொடுக்குது ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஆல்கே ஈஸ்ட் ஃபங்கை ஃபங்கையில் வந்து புசாரியம் இருக்குது பாக்டீரியாவில் வந்து மெத்தலோ ஃபெல்லஸ் இருக்குது ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி நிறைய இருக்குது ஸோ இதுலேருந்து நம்ம ப்ரோட்டீனை வந்து நிறையா கலெக்ட் பண்ணலாம் இந்த ப்ரோட்டீனை நிறையா கலெக்ட் பண்ணி நம்ம வந்து ஃபுட் சப்ளிமெண்ட்டுக்கு யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் இந்த ஃபுட் சப்ளிமெண்ட்டுக்கு கொடுக்கறதுனால இங்கே இருக்கக்கூடிய நேச்சுரலாக அவைலபிளாக கிடைக்கக்கூடிய இந்த ஃபுட் வந்து நம்ம வந்து யூஸ் பண்ணலாம் ஸோ எல்லா கண்ட்ரிலையுமே வந்து இதில் வந்து நிறைய யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜஸ் ஒன் ஆர் டூ இருக்குது அது வந்து ஹியூமன் கன்சம்ஷன் வந்து ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஸ்பைரலுனா வந்து நிறைய பெனிஃபிட்ஸு பட் அது இல்லாமல் மற்ற சம அந்த ஆல்கே வந்து ப்யூரிட்டியை பார்த்துட்டு தான் நம்ம சாப்பிட்றோம் அது ஒரு ஒரு டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜஸ் நிறைய ரிஸ்க்கு வந்து கண்டாமினேஷன் வரக்கு வாய்ப்புகள் இருக்குது ஸோ அதையும் நம்ம வந்து செக் பண்ணணும் ஓகே நிக்லிக் ஆசிட் கண்டென்ட் இது வந்து இருக்கா அதிகமாக இருந்துச்சுன்னா இது சாப்பிடக்கூடும் ஸோ இந்த ப்ராப்ளமேட்டிக்கெல்லாம் வந்து நம்ம செக் பண்ணிவிட்டு நம்ம சாப்பிட்டோம்னா ரொம்ப வேல்யூவாகவும் அண்டு சேஃப்டியாகவும் யூஸ்ஃபுல்னஸ்ஸாகவும் இருக்கும் ஈஸி டு ப்ராசஸ் பண்ணலாம் நிறைய க்ரோத் வந்து பண்ணலாம் நிறைய கல்டிவேஷன் வந்து பண்ணலாம் ஓகே இந்த டேபிளில் வந்து இதோடைய சப்ஸ்டேட் என்ன இருக்குது அதோடய யூசஸ் என்ன இருக்குது அது வந்து கமர்ஷியலாக வந்து இது எப்படியெல்லாம் வந்து சேல்ஸ் ஆகிட்டுருக்கு அப்படிங்கிறத சொல்கிறோம் இதுதான் எஸ்சிபியோட மேஜர் கான்செப்ட் ஓகே தேங்க்யூ தேங்க்ஸ் டு வாட்சிங் தேங்க்யூ நான் பார்க்குறேன்